Hello and welcome to Reptiles and Research. So, bearded dragons and fruit is a little bit of a weird one because you see loads of people feeding fruit and many people watch these cutesy videos on the internet of people allowing their bearded dragons to try lots of different types of fruit and it is very cute, but is this truly good for them and should they even have it? To first tackle this subject you need to have an understanding of what they actually eat in the wild. So bearded dragons are eating lots of perennial herbaceous vegetation, lots of flowers, lots of dried bits of vegetation, they're not eating fruit. Fruit is not a part of a wild bearded dragon's diet. The closest thing that comes to fruit in a wild bearded dragon's diet is the flowers that they eat in the wild. Now bearded dragons are attracted to the bright colours of flowers and in those flowers there's lots of nectar, bee pollen, all the good stuff. So naturally they evolved to have this affinity towards these bright coloured objects. So when we feed them fruit in captivity, that bright coloured object, they have the affinity towards it. Now it may or may not taste really nice to a bearded dragon if these are really sugary, I don't know. But just because they eat it, does that mean they should have it? So the fruits that we have that you can buy in a supermarket are no longer normal fruit. The sugar content of the fruit that is in a supermarket fruit is substantially higher than a wild naturally occurring fruit. Over the years of cultivating and growing these fruits for our own enjoyment, humans have bred them to be sweeter and sweeter and sweeter, to have more and more sugar content for our own pleasure. They are so sweet to the point in zoos when they feed frugivores, that's animals that eat fruit, they don't actually feed them the fruit that we have they get vegetables. They get vegetables because the sugar content is actually quite comparable to wild fruit. The wild fruit sugar content is so low by comparison, they have to be fed vegetables rather than actual fruit in their captive diets because our fruit is, because our fruit is so bad for them because the sugar is that high. So what happens when you feed fruit to an animal that's not even supposed to be eating fruit and it's that gigantic amount of sugar that we've bred into it? Well, we get a real bad dental disease is what we get. So bearded dragons have acridont teeth. And what that means is they don't actually have teeth in a traditional sense like we do. They have their jawbone, which is serrated to act as teeth, which means they only get one set. There's no new set coming in after. That's it. It's their jawbone. If their jaw gets that bad, they can basically lose their jaw and that's it done. So the risk versus rewards for a bearded dragon to eat fruit is quite high in terms of risk and reward is... Pretty low because it actually causes like stomach bloating and bearded dragons as well. All in all, they're not supposed to eat it. Yes, it can be a really sugary treat. They might actually enjoy it. And some people argue you can feed like a blueberry every like six months for a treat. I would argue just not to bother. They don't eat it in the wild. They don't actually need it for their digestion. It causes massive problems for the dentition you're probably best off not feeding it. If you look at these images right here, you can see the progression of dental disease in, in this bearded dragon. Once it gets this bad, that bearded dragon's in a real bad place. So overall, should you feed fruit to your bearded dragon? My opinion, based on the evidence I see, is just don't bother. It'll be cheaper to not include it, and it's better for the animal. Better for the animal, and better for your wallet. If you want more Bearded Dragon guides and help on how to look after your Bearded Dragon, we have a ton of videos already out and a ton more coming. So if you're interested in this type of content, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.